I made the screen capture on the 26th of July. It's labeled Evergreen High School, Seattle. I don't know why I was looking around this area, but, well, maybe it was this. I see there's a fence here at the very beginning, a brand new fence, right? So I was probably looking at something there. No, or it might have been that I was looking specifically for Evergreen High School because I know that just like the name Edgewood is linked to stuff having to do with this occult situation, the name Evergreen is the same thing. Evergreen has to do, again, with the idea of keeping this program going eternally. Um, and everything it entails, which includes human sacrifice, the sacrificing of quote-unquote weaker people on behalf of the stronger people. So the stronger people can get stronger and the weaker people are destroyed. It's sort of a um, eugenics thing, but it's occult eugenics. That's what I think. And it goes back to, you know, old religious, it's all wrapped up with, you know, people's religious views. So people feel extra entitled when they tie it, tie it to their um, quote-unquote religion. So um, <clears throat> here is what I found astounding about this particular area. Normally, when you look at Google, there's a rock wall forming. Normally, when you look at Google, people's faces are blurred out and license plates are blurred out. Those are the things that are normally blurred out. There's some painting on this tree and fence here. <clears throat> and there's, as you can see, I'm right near the high school. Um, so when you see other places blurred out that are not a license plate or a person's face, you should be asking what's going on. Vista Cruiser Mini. But at this high school, I saw something really different. There's a new construction with some cones in a pile. So there is quite a bit of stuff to see in this. Maybe I'll upload the whole thing. But here's what was astounding about this high school. Because out of everybody whose face and identity you should protect by blurring out their face, you would think that high school students would be, you know, anybody under 18 would be even more so. Yet here in this high school, nobody's face is blurred out. This is the only time I've seen this on Google, where faces aren't blurred, and it's a high school. This girl seems to be hiding herself. But, um, so what's going on there? And what if that's deliberate? I think it is. What are they trying to say with it? And my opinion is they're trying to show what I've been explaining and the whole reason, part of the reason why I was here was to look, I think, for drone activity. Let me see if I can see it again. Because what I've noticed, I mean, I don't know that it would be harder to tell in an urban area, but what I've noticed in rural areas is some there's some towns where there's no, you don't see these drone clouds anywhere except over high schools. And these are, those drone clouds are surveillance, not just surveillance, but manipulations going on from these drones via frequency-based technologies. So students are implanted with frequency devi devices and are, their behavior is being controlled. Their choices are being controlled, um, and they're being spied on through um, fire sprinklers in the schools, including in the bathrooms and the locker rooms. That's what's going on. So if I drop this down, the first thing I see is a sheriff car and a school safety officer. Interesting, in a parking lot. And there's the front of the school. It's got a big pink arrow pointing at the school. I mean, how much do you need 
It's even got, this is not, I mean, not even a subtle arrow. This is clearly an arrow. Donated by the class of 1966, it says. So this is, I think, trafficking is going on from this high school. Look at this bright flash there. And a lot of high schools, if not all of them. So here's, these are drone type cloud formations. There is a very clear indication of drone activity. You can't, I mean, it's undeniable. I mean, people try to say these are contrails from planes. That is absolutely not what it is. This is the same stuff that these clouds are made out of. Here's the, there's the Vista Cruiser. Which is interesting because the Vista Cruiser is a is a vehicle that's always mentioned in that '70s show, a um, TV series from the late '90s and early 2000s about high school students in Wisconsin. So here's an instance where a trash can lid is blurred out. There's no reason to do that. They're doing that to show something, and like I said, I think it usually means something's being hidden or obscured something about a trash can lid. So these kids behavior is being manipulated with frequencies. If they're misbehaving in class it could be a frequency based manipulation. Maybe they're being toyed with for you know any number of reasons. You know maybe the family's been ta targeted long term. Maybe they just found a kid that they were interested in messing with. Maybe there's some sort of you know genetic family issue that's going on, you know, not genetic so much as family. So these shadows under these trees look like they're artificially darkened and there's also artificial colors on the trees. So something's going on with things being falsely colored. That's what I think that means. So what's that there for? There's another student with no blurred out face. No blurred out face on the students, on the under 18. In fact, even the license plate isn't blurred out. Is anything, let's see if anything is blurred out around here. Well, this kid's, these kids' faces are blurred. So it appears to be selective. Some kids' faces are blurred and some are not. What's this? That black spot. This license plate also isn't blurred. So that's the first time I've seen Google not blurring license plates. And this is Google. This isn't somebody else. It's marked here, Google. There's that spot again. It looks like a spider or something. But if you go forward, you, it disappears and you see this. So here's something. This is crooked. Some kind of paper. What does that say? Does it say fire sprinkler? No, it's not fire, it's FTC sprinkler. Okay, so dig deep, rise up, branch out. It says with a bear, it looks like a bear paw behind it on something.
There's the rock wall. So it looks like the rock wall appeared sometime after 2016. Here's 2017. It's not just the rock wall, it looks like other improvements have been done. The house has been painted. There's piles of gravel, a lot of gravel. New fence. Marks on the sidewalk indicating there's something going on here. Look at this. Dark skies over here. And there's this group of kids. None of their faces are blurred out. This girl is putting a coat over her face, but it almost looks like there's something over her face. It almost looks like a black spot or something over her face before she does that. Oh, and then there's this weird thing where they kind of disappear because of the photo set changes. But that's kind of creepy too. School bus has some sort of distortion there. It's 110. Now I'm stuck. So that's a, you know, just so that you know, this is in a whole scale accident. You can see that kid right there. Well, now I don't see him. The, his face is blurred. <clears throat> but if I go back a bit, their faces aren't blurred and license plates aren't blurred, so it's very inconsistent in this area. I haven't seen this anywhere else, anything like that. I've never seen anybody else's face go unblurred or any other license plates go unblurred. And here is more blurring on the license plate. So it's it's not it's not like the whole parking lot and all the photo sets are the same. It's only some students' faces and some cars. <laughs>